ridiculous. This is second half of July. Should be roasting hot summer, and we've got this. We get this every couple of years. Dismal. Um, and we had a. Hello, mate. Can you do it? Oh, he's gone. We had a, about a week like this just before July. Absolutely hammered down for a couple of days. And the reason I'm waffling on about the weather is because in that previous downpour, uh, a bunch of us suffered some leakage. <laughs> I suppose we weren't ready for it and things weren't prepared and stuff. And um, a mate's uh, stash got a little bit soaked and he's given me a model because the box has gone mildew and he's like, um, I don't want this in the house. Thankfully I'm moving lots of stuff at the moment and I've got a few boxes like that now as well as a result of that storm too. So I've got a kind of clear up pile, um, tidy up and clean if possible, but this one really is beyond it. So he said go on just make it quick and get it done and get rid of the box and everything. It's a shame because it's a monogram one. So let's have a look. There are things worse than a recalcitrant camera. I'll admit that, but we're stuck with it. Uh, yeah, I think it doesn't like the weather either. But here we are with Ostwind Flak Panzer and Monogram. This thing isn't focusing at all. Hey, there we go. Monogram. Um, I like these. I like these vehicles. I like these models. I like this company. I think Monogram were, were one of the great American companies. Almost as imaginative as Aurora. But unlike Aurora, you generally got all the parts in the box. Anyway, absolutely hammered. It's got bird mess on it. Slugs got into it. And look at that. Absolute health hazard. So I'm going to... There's going to be an unboxing. I won't bother showing you that though. Because <laughs> it's going to be awful. Um, and I'll just, I've just i got to destroy that box to be quite honest. And then we'll do the model. That's something more positive. We'll look forward to that won't we? Good fun. The first thing to know... Well, it's not the first thing, but a subsequent thing to notice, we'll get back to the first one, subsequent thing to notice is the pleasant array of figures. I think they speak for themselves really, don't they? He's my, one of my all-time favourites of all time ever. So's, the, so's his mate. They came with uh, every German tank, and rightly so. Um, what was the first thing that came to mind? Lots of things have fallen off the sprue and are in the bottom of the filthy box. So I'll deal with that privately, shall we say. Oh no, look, there's even mildew on the tank. Hmm. I can't help thinking a paint spray, chock a block with chemicals, might just kill some of that off. Although mould is a notoriously stubborn beast. I'm not a fan at all. Anyway, onwards. Right, I've been waiting for a good bit of sun to have a look at the muck on this uh, and now I think the sun's too strong because the contrast is too grey isn't it between light and shade so let's see what we can discover mm, it is a bit bright anyway I've gone for a low level grot uh, where'd you get the kind of crossbars on the idlers at the top Quite nicely and then I'll spoil it all so I might have to put them back in not quite so bad on this side come on so just generally getting a grot layer how does that look Extreme. Well, we'll get the gist of it as it goes on, I suppose. Kind of low lighting and high lighting, and not a lot in between, is what I've been doing. But 
it's kind of where I want it to be. So, blah blah blah. Oh yes, and did I mention that there was a piece missing, I don't really know what you'd call it, an axle, uh, which should be showing through there, I think that's the correct one. So I've got a little bit of sprue, not quite long enough really, cut it off, put the wheel on it because the wheel fitted nicely and then dolloped shed loads of glue on it, which went all over the place. But it's holding and it's approximately the right size. So should all be fine, I hope. Um, I've had trouble with the rear wheels on Panzer 3 and 4s in the past. I remember as a kid I'd always be impatient and I'd put the track on too soon and the tension would bend the rear wheel back, which uh, was not my greatest hour several times over. As for the um, weathering, which we can see better in the workshop, um, the sort of running wheels, I'll, t I'll not exactly tidy them up, I'll blend them all because they're all a bit individual at the moment. I'll blend them together, but that, I'll do that when they get round to the final weathering, I think. But anyway, there we are. Oh, now the door's blown shut. Well, things are moving along, slightly randomly, but they're moving along. Um, got the kind of top of the hull on, but there's a very big gap there. Obviously, if I move the hull, there's a big gap there. But that might be the better option, you never know. Plus, there's this fella with his head poking through. Um, there's nothing for him to sit on. There's nothing particularly to glue him to. He's kind of wedged in, so I could put glue on his feet. Uh, and there's no interior. So I'm tempted to take him out and use him on something else. Because I do like that figure. But I do want to make this model as prescribed. So I'm, I'm in an R in at the moment. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, I just want to see what this... I've got all the colours right before I go any further. Nothing is stable. This surface, this top bit, is just clipped on. And this isn't even done. So, don't get your hopes up for an early completion. I'll look back at this. Like I say, to check the colours or the shades, perhaps. Oh, it's a horrible rainy day. The crows aren't enjoying it either, are they? Could have done with a bit more contrast, likewise, but never mind. So I think this is all right to do more on. More on? You know what I mean. Continue. So some mug shots might help, mightn't they? Let's see how that works. So in the top left you might just see that garden box I made. It has some use, it holds up the sky like some god. Anyway, here's the tank uh, for me to study. I'm, I've looked at them the turret's a little bit of a different shade to the rest. That'll all get blended in, I think, anyway. Not that that's a big problem. Um, and it's all looking okay. I think I can proceed and then do further painting later on. That's my theory. It could be wrong, couldn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching. Yes, I've got a lot of plates spinning, haven't I? What a fool I am. And uh, see you again soon. Bye.